Hello again, welcome back to Isaac Runs, where we press enter on the question mark and see if we can pick up Godhead and or Crown of Light. We're going to be playing Lilith. Well, I was hoping that it wasn't going to be a keeper run again, because that minus one there is from said keeper run, where we suck at the game, but that's okay. Uh, yes, Eternal Life and the Spirit Heart basically pays for that room completely. Now, Lilith is a character I don't often play very often, to be honest. Uh, I quite like playing as Lilith. It's a... It's a different, um, ooh, hello. It's different, but also, once you get used to it, you properly get used to it. I already don't feel like we've, um, much of a much of a disadvantage. We want to shoot this like this, so we can pick up this coin, because the other ones will stay outside of the thingy. That's a bit of a min-maxi thing there, but it works. Okie dokie, that stopped halfway across. Don't understand. Who cares? Uh, I didn't realise that actually had a closed door until I'd already walked through it. Yeah, I don't feel like we're at a huge disadvantage playing as Lilith. And don't forget we start with um, our box of friends here. Uh, I'm at a huge disadvantage because I'm bad against these. But I'm always at a disadvantage against those fucking things, so whatever. we got our key back, so we're not completely punished for not realising we were walking into the shop. And if we get another couple of... Coins, I would actually probably very much like to buy a spirit heart. That was terrible damage. I honestly thought that it had fired slightly earlier and that I was dodging in the correct direction. Yeah, just give me more of those things. Test me. That's what I want to see. Robo Baby is actually kind of decent. It's Robo Baby 2 that I just dislike. Um, the one that flies around the screen controlled a bit like Blue Baby's only friend. Robo Baby 1.0 is basically just tech. It's a tech. Incubus. Why am I not using my my box of friends? Well, it's because I don't know how far away the boss is, which is usually true, but the more rooms we do, the more likely it is that we come across it, just as I don't have the uh, box of friends to deal with it. That was an interesting little tussle we had just now. So, Robo Baby 1.0 is pretty good. How fucking... Is this, it's not an XR plot, because we can't see where we're going, because it's Curse of the Lost, so... Why is it so big? And where's my other thingy? Because I want to go back to that shop, but honestly, I can't remember where it is. I think maybe the curse of the secret room would be below us just now as well. Sort of in here. I don't want to spend a single bomb to find out that I'm wrong about the secret room, though, so. This feels like it edges onto the boss, so. I think we're there. Yeah, that seems fairly common. Burning Basement does actually allow us to get into what we would normally not be able to get into. These are the that area. Pick the key. Use our box of friends on this double monster fight. We should basically take no time because these things are weak as shit. So basically, papier mache monster alternatives. A tofu. These are tofu monsters. You can tell by the colour and consistency. It's kind of gross. It's a bit like scrambled eggs made of tofu. Have you ever tried that? Ooh. I mean, just eat eggs. <laughs> Man, it's, you're not going to get much better than eggs if you want scrambled eggs. Uh, I'm not going to go and buy that spirit heart because we picked up enough k keys. I feel that I don't need to try and min-max to make up for my error. No curse on this floor, thank goodness. Uh, but we only have one incubus again, so do be aware of that. We'll take the pill! It was addictive. That's okay. I don't want to open that because it's a boss trap room for a grey chest. How about now? You crazy Dutch bastard. We want to run away from that because it's fast. I can't believe there's a second burning basement. What are you trying to pull here, game? I kind of want to get rid of these things because they're controlling space like fucking champs. Take this. So I would like to get any advantage out of this floor. Should we go to the item room on the previous floor? Yeah, we've got Robo Baby. Of course we do. Don't forget we have Cambian Conception, which comes free with Lilith. One free in every pack. Um, if we get hit often enough, including blood banks, excuse me, princess, um, we will end up with a new familiar, which is super nice. We got the pill, it's tears up, which is very nice. We have another key. Keys are going to be useful for us later in the run because we're going to want to go to every item room where possible and maybe some of the shops as well. Don't think it's worth spending a bomb to try and get into that. Um, I mean, there's an argument to be made to do so. We have got two bombs and we're not really doing anything else with them. I think I'd rather maybe try and use them for a secret room. Let's try and find a secret room. It'd be great if I could do both. And I suspect the secret room is actually down here. 
nice and windows, which is nice. Ah, I don't mind this. Having a stat boost, even it's damage right now as well, which is super good. Um, even if it's just something like speed. I'm not sure what gets boosted. Maybe it's luck, speed, damage. Range. What, what can we have? Speed, shot speed, damage, range, luck, and then of course health. Wait. Speed, range, shot speed, the six here. Fire rate. Yeah, probably. Uh, that wasn't much use of the room. Here's our boss though. There, oh, I was going to say, there is a uh, battery charge. We don't need to not use our box of friends here. But unfortunately, we didn't quite do enough damage to that thing. And I didn't quite get my words out. We are faster now, though, so I don't mind. When you get hit, you lose the stat bonus. But then on the next room, you get a different one. So it resets. You lose it, and then it gives you another one for the next room. But, you know, you can get something shit like shot speed or range. So don't get hit if you've got a good speed upgrade. Currently we have a good stat upgrade. Currently we have speed. Speed is nice. There's two more keys, which is going to keep us going for quite some time. There's nine lives, so we take... I want both. I don't have enough HP. But this will give us HP back. So this is a bit scary, but we do have Rotten Baby. Which is another familiar. I don't think we will be doubling the nine lives head, by the way. I think we get 18 lives just by using box of friends. Even temporarily. Oh god, help. Oh shit. This is a champion. Leave me alone. I hate this. <laughs> Please. I don't know how much HP I've got, but I know it's bad. Right, that one's down. Fly, deal with it. So I just dashed itself against its armor. This seems to be working. Continue to do this. Hooray! Any spirit hearts at this point would be great. I'm being extremely trepid around these um, spikes. Don't forget about the spikes. We also have a damage aura boost right now. Please be something uh, it's horrible. I hate you. Might as well take it. What difference is it going to make? We're not coming back this way, so saving it isn't helping anybody. Because we go this way. Use this. Don't get hit by the bonies. Not getting hit by the bonies is a great idea. Bonies, of course, being the uh, well-known jazz band. Put you in the bonies. Those are soft rock. Put you in the blowfish. Are a real band. And they're actually pretty good. They're a bit like sort of Counting Crows, sort of. They, they always remind me of Counting Crows, and it just be because for some reason I think they look the same. I don't even know anymore. My our damage upgrade is actually doing really well right now. Doing really well for us. Uh, we have found the item room, so I say we should leave. If we can possibly manage it. You absolute trap. That's it, we're dead. <laughs> oh god, we've got so many lives. Right. This is the champion peak that puts its things on the screen and then immediately fucks you up. We have red hearts now. One of them. <laughs> you can see uh, Rot Baby producing all these flies is actually going to be super useful for us right now. Just peek to stand the fuck still, right? I can deal with you over here. No, no, no. What did I just say? Don't make that fucking creep. That's all the space I need to be in. What am I even doing? These dodges are amazing! Holy shit! <laughs> fucking fingers! My, my hind brain took over. Let's see what this does for us. Uh, our fire rate has gone way up. We didn't get a deal with the devil. We could spend another life to go into the curse room, and at this stage I'm thinking that might be a good idea. Because if we get anything in there that means we don't die on the way out, then it's worth doing. And if we do die on the way out, we die on the way out, right? Yeah, let's do it. So we've got full... Okay, okay. Hey, was Algiers. Uh, secret. That kills us. It doesn't kill us. I'm sorry. I'm very confused. Did we not just die to nine lives? 
Let's go. <laughs> just, I don't know what my HP is doing, and I, I hate everything, so I'm going to leave. We'll get this back. We go. What are we on? We have two HP. Ah, experimental treatment. Must have given us an, uh, an HP. I hate this. <laughs> I can't control uh, my incubus. Oh, fudge. That was really bad. I couldn't figure out how to get my incubus to track the movement of those enemies, which was confusing my poor brain, which has just done so well against the peak fight. So, experimental treatment has given us an HP, so when I picked up that... Oh, God. Stop shooting when it's coming towards you. It's as fucking simple as that. Eight lives. Oh, eight question mark lives, which means we've got the one life from Guppy's Collar. The one question mark life from Guppy's Collar, and then seven from nine lives. Um, ooh, this helps. All right, sweet. So now we can go into there, because we've already taken the red heart damage that otherwise we would not really want to spend on going in there, so to hell with it. Our rate of fire is outrageous. Oh, we must have, um, because I took damage against the curse room, this will be our new stat boost. Secret room? Well, even if it is a secret room, we got five cents out of it. Five cents for a bomb when we didn't pay for any of the bombs so far. Seems like a fair trade. I would have liked to have been faster at that point. It was a little bit risky against those. Honestly, being able to beat the shit out of those before any of them can charge me. <sighs> Just like Banks. It's a great situation to be in. Sweet. Man, our rate of fire right now is just killing it. I don't mind that our damage sucks because our rate of fire is amazing. And I'm actually honestly preferring it. Because the, the small amount of knockback that you get from shots by default is really helping. Might as well take this. It's not going to... Uh... There's no points for not taking a trinket. Well, sometimes there are. I mean, some trinkets could turn out to give you basically nothing. Like, uh... Nothing there. Like the... The poker chip that means that sometimes you get nothing from chests and sometimes you get double payouts. You could theoretically can never get anything from chests at all. But in this case, there's no reason not to have Monkey Paw. It just gives you a black heart whenever you're about to die, I think. Whenever you get down to half a red heart, anyway. This is a normal secret room, which was not expected. Don't really care about the shop right now. I think I don't. So I try and bait him into running around and try not to walk on the spikes, although... You won't, you're not going to believe me, but honestly, I was making sure that the spikes would... You pushed me into the spikes a little faster. I was making sure that the spikes were down. You tried to push me into the spikes, but of course, him having done damage to me meant I only took half a heart because I was invulnerable when I hit the spikes. So there you go. In fact, yeah, just leave that incubus up there. Perfect. Didn't even think of that. Still no deal with the devil. There could be way more on this floor, but I'm just not going to do it. Sue me. We should probably be trying for um, angel rooms. Starting enough with damage boost again. Which is pretty nice because our actual rate of fire is already pretty good, even without the stat boost we had from the last floor. Can you just please stop taking damage all the time, though? How many hours do you need in this game before you figure out how to stop taking damage against half these enemies? Um, for Godhead, we definitely need to do legit angel rooms. But for Crown of Light, no such restriction applies. Joker card. That's pretty nice. We can use the Algiers rune on um, an arcade or something. To get ourselves a buttload of money to make it worth going into an actual shop, which will not contain at least that greed. There's Guppy, I believe. Ta-da! But we won't be keeping this, because obviously we want Box of Friends to help us out. So Guppy is basically a run winner in every situation, even if you don't usually benefit from the flies and get a load of stuff from the flight and then the keys get you into a shop and the money gets you to buy something. Look, it's all good shit. Every single shot is now that much more powerful because it produces a fly which is way more powerful than the original shot. We get into places like this for free. We don't get out for free but we get in for free. This is where we want to use the allergies room. We don't have it so who cares. Let's just play it. The Joker card will not free us from this 
trap that we've made for ourselves. Teleports. Puberty. By the way, because when we come out of the devil room that we get, ah, very nice. We will be plonked right back into that room. Oh god, I'd forgotten that we took damage, although it was on purpose, <clears throat> which gets us. Oh, this room though. Yeah, fuck it. It replaces the uh, stat boost that we had, didn't it? Right, well. That room is very difficult, even when you can fly, apparently. We got Dark Bum from taking so much damage. And honestly, most of the damage that we took to get Dark Bum was productive because it gave us Speed Ball. Which is the second one, because don't forget we took experimental treatment, so a third one of those, a third syringe item, that spun, which is an excellent transformation for us. Why did the uh, whole room go... Oh, I shot the poop. Test. But don't forget the guppy, so we're basically guaranteed to win unless we royally fuck everything up completely, which has been known to happen, and uh, is quite likely to happen again, because I'm playing. But here we go. I will give Dark Bum some HP when our own HP can accommodate it. That being said, it may be valuable to give Dark Bum the HP before your own HP can accommodate it. See through? Because once you've got a spirit heart in front of you, you can start thinking about, you know, you can fill up your red HP once you've got spirit hearts. But you probably don't, ooh, probably don't want to uh, just run around with your red HP exposed. Your red HP is hanging out. Two hearts. Done. Right. Let's get... Well, I mean, Dank Depth's one. We can use the Allergy's Rune to maybe beat the boss. You see all them bullets, none of which hit me. Quite happy with that. Uh, use this here because it's a bad charge. <laughs> no real reason not to, I guess. And then we'll go back and get the Joker card. There's not going to be one there. We don't have any bombs anyway. Get the battery. Dum -dum. I like it when we actually get to see the shot. It's fine. Two Dark Bums doesn't help, but... Two of everything else does. Two monster tools. No, thank you. Holy shit. See that shit? You fucking stamp. You got caught on the rocks and. landed right next to me instead of doing what he's meant to do and not that. Please, flies. Just go en masse. And de monstro this entire room. Just don't take any more damage. Don't get hit. It's simple. How many times have you not got hit? You've been not getting hit basically an infinite number of times between all the hits you've ever taken. So just continue to not do that because it's much more frequent that you don't get hit. And you do get hit. So deal with it. Yes. Probably should have used the artist room there. We'll use it here instead. Our, uh, our damage is piss poor right now. Our rate of fire is great. Especially considering we have triple shot. But that is not what I'm looking for. I'm going to go back. Find myself my Joker card. And as soon as we don't get a deal with the devil, and the first time we don't get a deal with the devil, we will use the Joker card. And with the Joker card, we will get a deal with the devil. I'm pretty sure we've taken a deal with the devil. Yeah, we took uh, nine lives. Nine lives was a deal with the devil. So we've actually got devil precedent. Meaning that we will definitely get another deal with the devil in the future. We'll take the box of crack jacks down here. Uh, this floor is very slow. Does that give us a spirit heart or drop one on the ground? I think that creates a trinket, actually. That was silly. I forgot to, I forgot to check. <laughs> Man, these things are really hard to hit at the best of times. And then you've got your uh, Incubus as your only source of damage. What is my stat boost right now, by the way? Talk about this? Because I'm not appreciating it. Whatever it is. Maybe we're slightly faster? It's not really helping me in an offensive capacity, and therefore I'm not entirely interested. These fucking things. How many can there be? Just abandon this room right now. Good. Fly is certainly helping out uh, with this shit show. But still. I'd like to have picked up something other than experimental treatment that has any effect on our stats. Uh, it has yet to happen, except for maybe if you count the HP stat and you call the body and stats upgrade, then sure. And we've got a speed and shot speed upgrade from speedball, but again, I want damage, I want fire rape, I want these things 
some of these things are not like the other ones. Full run roll. No. Good. Because I'm <laughs> very upset that I might have to do that. Uh, I don't know if I want the louse. Yeah, we've got so much red HP that if we are relying on monkey paw, monkey paw, then monkey's paw, then we're in a bad, bad way. Hmm. Possibly five cents from the thing in the middle, but who cares about that, really? We've got 36 cents and four bombs. Don't really want to replace a bomb in the sense. BFF is definitely what we're going to be taking here. We'll also take those options, which will help us maybe with a couple of boss fights. It's not like there's that many items left to get. And, of course, we're on depth two, so we already know what this item's going to be. It's going to be the Polaroid. I mean, if you just wanted to give me any of the items I've been looking for for the past you know, nine episodes, that would be swell. What do we got here? Two of spades. Use it. Joke card. Stars card. Uh, stars card. Why did I use this here? Because we're not going to fight Boss Rush, we want to get to Boss Rush. We just picked up a teleport card which can get us back into the room. Back into the floor, I should say. Oh, really bad. Really, really bad. But we're not going to get a deal with the devil because I took that damage. But we've got a Joker card, so... I don't think we were that light. Like Fuck me. I'm doing really badly right now. Take. Oh, fuck, this is bullshit. Bye. Okay, good. This is also crap. Wow. Uh, our, our damage stat must have greatly improved as a result of being hit. Which I'm kind of down with, honestly. Incidentally, where's all my red HP for Dark Bum to pay out with? Dark Bum should pay out faster when you get the FF. Otherwise, there's no point in having a bigger one, is there? Okay, I'll give you more. Give me more! No. You pay out with fucking spiders just because you're giant. It's getting petulant. This Of course, the extra damage is causing our flies to do that much more damage as well, which is super good. Uh, we found the shop, we found the item room. I don't really feel any need to do anything else except for get our Joker card, see what the deal with the devil has for us. Hope that Dark Bun will actually hook us up with a spirit heart once in a while rather than pissing around with this stupid spider game. A luck upgrade from one penny. Oh, just give me that. There we go. Um, yeah. <laughs> Do I want empty vessel? Am I likely to need it? I think I'm more likely to want the HP, to be quite honest with you. Which is a shame because I do like empty vessel. Uh, but we can already fly. Which means for the price of 1 HP, we would basically be occasionally getting invulnerability. Uh, not even predictably, sometimes. Well, I don't really think that's that great a deal. You may disagree, but you're welcome to. Our damage is now insane. We did get a Spirit Heart, no thanks to Dark Bum. We might as well go through here and see what we've got. Uh, I'll open this. Another Spirit Heart, no thanks to Dark Bum. Who has only paid out with a fucking spider so far because he's a dick. It's freedom. I'll tell you what, Death's Touch at this stage has been nothing but exactly what we need. It's a godsend. It's the perfect item. It's going to be piercing shots, making short work of these enemies that divide themselves up into multiple units. Thank you, Dark Bum. You have redeemed yourself, as I would have expected. But not as I was necessarily, you know, implying that I was going to give you the chance to do. Pick that up. You can do as you're told. Addicted is not my favourite pill. Be making much use of this, but it's also a slight effort to drop it, so at this stage I'm not too concerned about doing it. The louse, I think, just occasionally creates spiders. Uh, telepills, okay. <laughs> Do I want that? Maybe. Addicted. Tears. More. Tears. Addicted. And. Are you a wizard? Well, I'm not, but I could be one. Uh, I could just play one on TV. Apparently, all your wizard has no effect on Incubus, which is nice. I'll take the safety pin because it gives us a black heart. Uh, and a range upgrade, a uh, shot speed upgrade. I mean, those don't matter too much, but it's nice to have a little bit more protection down here in the wound. Uh, do we get a new stat upgrade when we start a new floor? It's possible that we do. I feel faster but less damaging. But honestly, our damage is fine. 
Especially with these flies helping out with everything. Perfect. It's a good balance because as we run out of flies, our tears do a shitload of damage. And as we run out of tears... Well, I mean, when there are flies, the tears don't even make it is the point I'm trying to say there. There is very likely to be a large room with a lot of rocks on it, any of which could be a tinted rock. Quite happy to let Hagalaz find that for us. Well, I'm doing it myself. I didn't even use a box of friends. This Joker doesn't... <laughs> he doesn't fire when Incubus fires. He only fires when the player fires, and this player ain't firing. Blind man's bluff, isn't it? Blind man's buff? I don't know. Answers on a postcard. Answers on a YouTube comment section. <clears throat> I never played blind man's bluff or buff uh, as a kid, and I therefore have actually just realised that I have no idea how to. I don't know the game. I don't know how it works. I assume that you blindfold somebody and lie to them about where something is. It sounds a little bit cruel. Sounds a little bit uh, distasteful. Because obviously some people are afflicted with that as part of their daily routine and have no opportunity to um, just peek out from under the blindfold and see what's going on. They basically have to rely and trust other people all the time in describing the world around them and not fibbing to them, fibbing to them about the world in which they find themselves. It's kind of easy to say, I don't think. Lust. What? That's fun. Yeah. I'm glad we hung on to, we hung on to this uh, particular run because it suddenly turned amazing. And in fact, we could do hush. <laughs> Go ahead on the very last opportunity we have to get a deal with the devil. I think not, but thank you all the same. There's, uh, well, there's a bomb in there. We might as well get it. Um... Um, yeah, okay. <laughs> We've got 23 keys. No curse of the blind, for goodness sake. Please, not curse of the blind. Question marks, okay. Just, just the question mark. Floor. Open all these. Bob's brain. Fate, fate is fine. It gives us another HP. Um, I think that pushed the spirit heart off, but I'm okay with that. I think maybe we donate. Put some money back into her. We've taken a little bit out recently. I can't remember if it was on this run or the keeper runs that we did recently, but... <laughs> now we can use this twice by doing this. That's excellent. Ha ha ha, I win. When I said this should be an Ipecac run, that was before we could fly. Fuck it. It's an Ipecac run. Ah, no, Sam! Oh, what a perfect combination of things. Fuck it, let's take Bob's brain. This is going to be great. We're going to have three Bob's brains. Oof, oof. We are immune to these explosions. We are immune to the Bob's brain explosions. This is going to be ooh, great. I think either host hat or... Please don't do that. Either host hat or... Um, what did we get recently? The, the infamy. Either host hat or infamy saved me from some bullets just now, which is very nice of them because I wasn't really paying any attention. Also, we are guppy, which means we're producing a lot of flies, and all those flies are going to be producing a shit amount, shitload amount of damage for us as a result of the fact that our tears are now very infrequent but highly explosive. So, the only thing that really could be better here is if our tears have had a shitload of damage to begin with. Or we have been blessed with maybe the chaos card. <laughs> That's it. It's definitely a, a good good time to be using Hush, and really we really knocked it out of the park just with the items we got on the Hush mode. We can't be hurt by our own explosions, but we don't want to get too close to enemies anyway because we are still going to want to be dodging around up here, trying not to get hit by this barrage of bullshit. Um, and we can get knocked into enemies as well. Maybe we should just leave that there and force the push to get stuck. I don't know. Is this a time-based thing? Can we just not talk about how I avoided all that damage? I've watched other people do that and I've been going, how the fuck did you just navigate that? There is literally no way you successfully navigated all of that. And nevertheless, here we are. Did you get anything for doing the hush fight without getting hit? I guess you shouldn't, because that's basically how you have to do it. Uh, as the lost. Thank you. 
Come on now. Let me out. Not a fan of this. Get the hell up. Fight me. Stop trying to hit me and hit me! Okay. Bring it on. Get them flies in there, what the hell? Not... Get... Why? Coward. I've done it. You know, I've just done an entire hush fight without getting hit. On a run where I've died twice. So... Fuck you, I'm going up. Very exhilarated to have done that. We've got Ipecac and Host Hat, which synergize perfectly together. We've got them on the same floor, which is amazing. And... I... <laughs> we can't really lose. It's not, um... It's not Pyromaniac. We don't get healed when we get exploded. Oh, we've got another three. That was my mistake. We don't get healed when we get exploded, but we, uh... Dark Burn, why don't you take this and see if you could give me something that I give a shit about. Not that there is any such a thing. Yeah, we're now basically one-shotting everything. We can charge up our box of friends twice, so we don't need to use it every time it's available. We can use it with a double charge when we find the boss. <laughs> I love how it's trying to hurt us. No, I can't do it. I guess, um, let's take this. I don't really want to have any more red HP because it's nice to give Dark Bum something to do. We're going to have more red HP than the Spirit Hearts on the next floor anyway, so... And don't forget we got spun as well, which is yes. super good. Just increases our damage that much more, even though we're basically exploding everything with actual explosions. They can't hurt us. From well, not our face, but our uh, demon turret follower thingy. Look, if you try and just sort of dissect what's happening right now, it's not going to make any sense. I think you should just probably just roll with it. For some reason, we have. Uh, What's well, normally an enemy sitting on our heads, <laughs> protecting us somehow from explosions, despite simply being a hat. Nope. By the way, I just want to draw attention to this. I took Ipecac first. I was prepared to do the rest of this run with Ipecac, not even considering that Host Hat was going to show up. I hadn't seen Host Hat. I just took Ipecac because I'd already said this would be a great Ipecac run, which could have been. A previous one, I don't even know. But I've mentioned Ipecac at some point today. Took it. And then Host Hat showed up to save me from myself. We now have Curved Horn, which is a damage upgrade. I believe it's just double damage. Uh, whatever. Are you which means now you? we are doing twice as much damage from our explosions than we had previously were. Which means all of our flies are doing twice as much damage as they previously were. Everything is one. This is going to be great, so just uh, sit down, buckle up. We're now at 30 minutes, which is the time we should have been in the hush fight. We've uh, just left it. Double active. Great. <laughs> just going to do this, which kind of wasn't worth it, because all our flies have already killed Isaac. <laughs> Before we've got the opportunity to even use our train of followers to do anything, because we are guppy. Uh, and we can also use the question mark card to get one more play, I believe out of... I don't really want Young Heart. We'll take the Parasite. Might as well take Farting Baby, he farts, because why not? I think the Parasite, yeah, it's going to do some entertaining things. But, oh, money equals power. Didn't we already not take this or was that on the Keeper run? That might have been on the Keeper run. Sad Bombs. This is going to be fun. Let's put this down and see what we win. LOL! <laughs> Oh, if only this were going up on YouTube. Oh, wait. Bomb. La 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 oh. That was less impressive. So, today I learned that um, bomb flies do not do contact damage. They only do explosive damage. So, that's good to know. That's an interesting one. Do we take Isaac's heart to completely separate us from all the other damage in the game? I don't think it would actually work. Might as well take some money, because money equals power. We could also use a bomb if we so cared to, which would then explode into myriad smaller bombs, all of which are going to be shaped like death's scythe, all of which are then going to be... Ah, we can see where we're going now. Hooray! 
explode into the smaller bombs, which is going to be normally circular. Uh, that's not really helping, actually. I wondered how it would work with different characters, that kind of doesn't. Which is a shame. I would like that the Magician card had homing death size of explosion. That is not how this has happened. Uh, okay. Apparently I walked into an enemy. Find that hard to believe. Why would I do such a thing? That seems foolish. I mean, honestly I think some of these rooms are going to be more difficult for us than the Blue Baby fight. So we should probably think about using our item. Speed and range. The range is going to be helpful. Uh, well, if anything is going to be difficult, it's going to be either that room or the... Uh, Four mega, uh, the four gate room that we had before. I assume that's at zero time as well. One, two, four. There's clearly no secret room there. That. Yeah. Use this. Use this. Use this. Well, not dead. Well, that was a great run. I really enjoyed the way that finished off, and I hope you did too. Thank you for watching. That is. It's a win, it puts one on our win streak, but we're not doing win streaks, we're doing item finding. But we'll look again in the next episode, so thank you for watching and I'll see you then.